Good morning, Alvin Mark here in the district of Teluk Kurao. A good friend of mine, Kelvin Tay from Campus Corner, suggested that I come over here and paint this gorgeous looking tree. And after doing some research, I found out that in 1930, our former Prime Minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, was admitted in here. Just a little bit more about this place, Teluk Kurao. Teluk means bay, and Kurao is a kind of fish, thread fin, that is very commonly found in uh, Southeast Asian cuisines. And that's probably why you find icons or motifs of all these fish all around this area. I found a portion of the old school gate that's still here. So yes, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew used to study in the school when his family was living here in the Teluk Kurao area. And that four-story building used to be a two-story wooden structure uh, when it first opened in 1926. So this place is taken over by the yards, Flying Cape, a couple of other companies they um, either rented or bought over this place so that they can rent it out to artists uh, as studios and they've done a really fantastic job let's let's take a peek in here this would be an area for exhibitions you know if you if you were to own one of these studios and you decide oh I want to do an exhibition run an exhibition here for about a month check out the space yeah, this is really, really impressive. I'm going to try to find a good angle for this tree. It's just gorgeous. And I have no clue what tree it is. Yeah, let's go over to the other side now. Okay, so I'm here across from the school. Uh, but from this angle, the building is actually blocking that cotton tree. Let's go back in there. Frenchy Penny, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna park myself right here. This would be my shade for uh, the next couple of hours. And uh, yeah, that will be my subject. Uh, and thank goodness I found out the name. I bumped into uh, Andrew, uh, who is managing this area, and he told me that this is a cotton tree. I just love the whole concept of, you know, when I'm thinking of something, when I have a question, when I ask it out loud, somehow the answer always gets to me. Small little thing, but I am glad and grateful for things like that. So let's begin this three hour paint out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mask in uh, the dark areas of the tree to get the shape right first, because that's most important. It has to look like a cotton tree. So here's a little story. One of the Chinese workers that was working on the roofing of that building actually came over to see what I was working on and he was surprised that I was painting this tree in front of me. And he told me that he had a funny story like Okay. 
Shiyo干什么? <laughs> when he was first called here to uh, work on this place, his task was to clean up the mess from all the leaves from that particular tree because tons of leaves would just fall every single day and he went to his manager to ask if he could just cut the tree down. Manager said no because this tree is a very special tree. It was actually planted by Lee Kuan Yew. There you have it. So this is another classic example how here I was just painting this uh, what seemed to be an ordinary looking tree but hey, guess what? It's more than that. And now we all know. I'm done here, so it's time to go. Thank you so much for hanging around. If you enjoyed this, remember same thing. Thumbs up and see that little uh, icon over there. That's my logo. Click it to subscribe. All these things push me further as, as I push out all these videos on YouTube and I really really appreciate it. If you know the name of this tree, if you can confirm that this is a cotton tree, please comment away in the little box down below. Alvin Mark from Teluk Kurao Primary School, now called The Yards. Ciao ciao!